Adler. Hey, this is that guy. A visitor. Welcome to our facility. Something was unearthed. You've caught us at an unfortunate time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a gestalt. A worker at our facility? Let me see that picture. Alina Sio. I believe she's one of our factory workers. However... Okay then, uh... Shit. <laughs> you shouldn't have returned. Uh... Okay. I... Wow. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting the dude to just... Turn on a dime. That was something. And now we're in a school? I must have fallen asleep while waiting for Erica. Did she already go home without me? We wanted to get some books from the library together. I should check if she's still there. Alright then. Uh, I guess we're looking for Erica now as Issa. This is very dystopian looking. Holy shit, this is dreary. Wow, this is really dreary looking. Uh, there appears to be something on this door. Okay, I guess I have nothing to say about that. I personally have something to say about that, but I guess she doesn't. And I guess we're not going into 515. Laufen in der Corridorin Verboten. Uh, I only know Forbidden. I do know Bibliotech, though. That's close enough to Spanish where I can get it. I'm not the only one that just saw the girls in gas masks picking on the other girl, right? Whoa, hello, dead bodies. Uh, uh some tells me that's the only reason I was alive. Uh, uh, yeah, we're looking a little lower on ammo, but not too bad. Can't go in the right, can go in the bottom right, can go in the bottom left, and apparently that needs a key, so right is always right. Thermite flare. Maintenance key. Nice. I guess war tongue is maintenance slash service. I had to guess anyways, I'm not. I'm not hip with German. I'm not good at uh German. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that now. I know what it looks like, so I guess I have that going for me. I guess I'll also save after the fact that we just took on what I believe to be a boss. So the right there is a the save room, let's see what the left is. Uh, apparently a generator in hell. What's this? 120 volt, 120 volt. So we need 800 here, 20 or 230 there. Fuse required. What happens if we flip this stuff? Oh, I guess we literally need the fuse. Okay. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Uh, guess we'll go find ourselves a fuse then. We do have the maintenance key, so I can open up the door on the left. and go on through there. Wow, that is a deep hole into red. I hope that's not blood. 
I guess we can go down or to the right. Let's see what we have here first. Holy shit, that is a lot of body. How many people has Adler been pushing down this damn shaft? Post key required. Okay, can't do that. Yeah, I, I think the elevator's out of order, all right. <laughs> like, it makes sense. What we got here? 9 or 10 millimeter? Actually, I should probably re-equip that. I'll let think about it. Yeah, Adler has apparently been pushing a bunch of people down the elevator shaft. Dude, uh, don't mess around, I guess. Angry note. I am officially sick of the Yules next door. They've been listening to that stupid song nonstop since the piano room was locked down. If I have to hear it one more time, I am going over there and smashing that stupid tape recorder to pieces. I wonder if there's a way we can borrow a key so we can get into their dorm and put an end to this madness. I don't care about breaking quarantine if it means never having to hear that song again. So somebody doesn't like their loud neighbors. Uh oh. This looks like it's a bit at capacity. That one has like a shield and a sword. What's this? Star. Replica overview star. Holy shit, I'm not even gonna try, we're just gonna stick with star. <laughs> Security Technician Guard Replica Starling. Type Generation 4 Low Cost Combat Unit. Frame Biomechanical with Polyethylene ethylene Shell and Bullet Resistant Armor Plating. Height 220 centimeters. Oh fuck, what's centimeters? Let's see, 30 and a foot. So. Wait, 30 and a foot? Holy shit! These ladies are tall! <laughs> That's like seven and a half feet! I'm not mistaken anyways. Damn. The standard model of protector security technicians fitted with extended legs, star units gracefully tower over most gestalts. Despite the well, I guess that would confirm the whole seven and a half, eight foot. Star units gracefully tower over most gestalts. Despite their heavy armor, they can move swiftly with their long stride. Their cool and detached demeanor allows them to analyze situations with object Objectivity and deploy forces required. Trained in close combat and riot control techniques, they um, bleh, they operate best in small squads led by an, an officer star unit equipped with a ballistic shield. Yeah, I want to say uh, homegirl there is probably what we're reading about currently. And I ain't gonna fuck with them. Yeah, something tells me we're not getting anything done in that room. And something tells me I'm going to be running for my life in half a second. Maybe not. The repair patch, sure. Let's see what this note is. Memorandum, lighting malfunctions. Two service cadre. Cadre. Whatever. Arar S2316. Due to a recent incident involving a certain starling that shall remain unnamed, I've adjusted all doors to require visible light to open. This should hopefully stop any more non-service cadre personnel from endangering themselves by stumbling into dark rooms until we can take care of the lighting situations. If you've been assigned an illumination failure repair task, remember to equip a flashlight module so the door sensors will let you in. Ask Adler ahead of time if you need one. He's usually in his quarters on the 8th floor these days. Alright then. I'm pretty sure Adler's not in a talking mood considering he just tried to murder us by pushing us down an elevator shaft, but hell. I'll ask him. Well, there's blood either leading from this room or to this room, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Oh, hell yeah, it was leading to this room, alright. I guess we can't carry any more disposable prods. Hey, Dick, I was reading the menu. Let's see, need one of these. OK, 
Okay, there's a note here. Replica overview aura. Yeah, not even going to try again. We're just going to stick with aura. Uh, all purpose repair worker replica macaw. Type generation 2 low cost general purpose. Frame biomechanical with titanium reinforced polyeth uh, polyethylene shell. Height 185 centimeters. The tough worker bees of the construction and repair industry, one of the earlier replica designs, the simple but efficient auras are actually the most, most produced replica type to date. These strong and heavy worker units are a perfect fit for work in construction and production of industrial goods in many places throughout our nation. Auras have already replaced all gestalt workers in fields like clim climaforming? Climaforming? Like terraforming, I guess? I uh, we'll go with it. And explosive ordnance disposal. So, interesting. Can't go down there. I uh, guess Ducky go down the hole. What the fuck? I'm afraid the commander won't receive any visitors at this at the moment. But perhaps I can be of assistance instead. Who are you? I'm the administrator of this facility. Please, there's no need to be afraid. I'm just here to help. I uh, don't know if I like Adler. I already didn't like him, but I'm liking him less. Dude is a creepy fuck. Yeah, we're just gonna... Slowly but surely shock the shit out of you and call it a day. No injector? Sure. I don't have enough room to carry a repair spray? You're kidding. Can I, like, drop something and then pick it? No, it just destroys it. Okay, uh... Well then. Kind of wish I could see my health a little bit better though like what exactly I'm at but at the same time kind of used to the whole not being able to see it holy shit that is a really snub nosed revolver <laughs> wow that thing is tiny <laughs> security technician guard replica star yeah okay well I guess if I happen to come across any more of those, I'll come get it. Unlock the door. And let's just shock the shit out of this one too. I don't know if the square getting smaller, like, indicates a pot shot of some kind, or what. Seems like it would. Like, the smaller that your square gets, the more chance of a crit, or something like that. That's kind of weird, I can just fit in that tiny little alcove. So we can go to the left, we can go up, we can't go down right, can't go to the right. We can go top right. Let's go to the top right and work our way over. Hmm. Maybe I should be staving these stun rods. If it just took out a Storch in one hit, I feel like that'd be pretty good. So oh, shit. That is a big lady. The big ass shield. I don't want to mess with her. And <laughs> yeah, we'll just. Leave that room B for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the middle. Okay. Seemed to do a bit more damage since we let the square go all the way. Like, it took two shots for both of them, where normally it was taking, like, three or four. What's this? Katez. Awaits liberation, apparently. Ah, I don't 
don't have enough room for a fuse. Shit. I need a box. That's what I need. Shit. Almost passed by. Protector Accommodations Management, Euler S2308 to S23 Service Cadre, Aura S2314. Item High Voltage Fuse. Part number, yeah, we'll just leave that where it lies. Your order for the replacement part has been approved and was processed by S23 Management. Please find and close the requested part for installation. Falk has specifically requested that the repair of the looping lift system be prioritized over other repairs. Please replace the fuse as soon as possible. It is a huge hassle for everyone to get around without it. Yeah, Alright. Uh, I don't really want to drop the shotgun shells. Hmm. Maybe I'll just check the other rooms to see if there's a safe box first. Might be an option. This room is just dark as shit. Not really gonna get anything done there. Let's see, maybe I can find one on the map really quick? No? I guess we just kind of have whatever to work with. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. I really don't want to just drop this. Maybe I can zap the shit out of the big one back here. At least then it would go to use. Yeah, okay. So now we can get our fuse. Stun rods seem to be really, really good, so it makes me feel bad for wasting them. Uh, if I had known, I would have probably saved them more. But we do have our fuse. Don't step on the body. Is there anything we can do to the right here? Yeah, we can go through the right. We can also go up. Can't go to the left. Oh, we can. Never mind. Okay, so we have access to the ladders again. So that's good. It's in the middle here. One or er, one seventy-three. That's what it said whenever I got in here. I guess that was our boy. There's a keyhole in the painting. Righteous. Uh, that guy was really bizarre. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure what that was all about, but apparently we have to use radio frequencies to defeat that one. So interesting. Is that two or one? I think it's just one. Shit. I'm out of ammo. And that one's getting back up. So I'm getting the hell out. Fine. Keep your secrets. But we do have a keyhole in that one. Uh, was the box up here? I do still need to do the whole... What you call it, though. So we'll go ahead and use the fuse up here. Get rid of an item we're holding anyways. I'm still not entirely sure what the whole diagnostics thing is. Like, is this just a detailed overview? Like, it's really weird. Uh, what if I use one of these again? Will it change that? Maybe if I let it sit for a second? And we 
can go ahead and put the fuse in. Okay, so we need this one to be 800 and this one to be 230. Well, that seemed to not really do it. That one certainly switched them around a lot. Wow, that's a lot of voltage. Okay. What if I flip this one? 360 and 230. Good God, most of these crank the voltage. <laughs> and not quite. And like most of these just up the voltage out the ass like crazy especially this one like holy shit i just flipped this one it like cranks it probably honestly find all the ones that lower it a lot <laughs> so let's see this says 190 and this says 80. So if I flip it, yeah, this. Okay, so these are like resistors that crank it down and these amplify it like capacitors or something. At least looking at them, that's what it looks like. So if I go across, well, these don't really have anything in them, so they just kind of do whatever. Maybe I can, no, I can't touch them. I can't switch them around or anything, so if I do them currently, this should decrease this one by 50 and increase the bottom one by 30. Yeah, okay. I'm putting it together now. So this would decrease by 60 and increase by 30. Basically, do I just like flip the first three and then work from there, or what exactly are the first three going to flip? This gives it 720 and 240. This gives it 840 and 360. And this gives 480 and 960. Okay. So this is our moderately in the ballpark one. But there's no tin resistor here, and I don't think it'll really work with that one. So let's try this. We want this one to be higher because it has a lot less or a lot more down than it has up. So it'll definitely help it to be higher. So if we do that, then we could actually fix it better, so to speak. But the top one has like no down, so we can't have it be like super high. Like no matter what the combination, we couldn't get this down. So we need to figure out exactly what we need to do to get this to 800. So if I do this, we have 40. So if I do these two down and this one up, that would equal 40. If I do these two down and this one up, I think it would come out all right. So these two, and then 60. Yeah, okay. So we just needed to ballpark it. I uh, think that turned on the elevator, maybe. There's nothing in the elevator. Oh well, we can't even use the damn elevator anyways. Uh, let's go ahead in our safe room. Actually need to put this in there, put this in there. Uh, I don't think I have any pistol ammo. Well, I do, but not a lot. So I'll put that in there. Go ahead and pull out our shotgun. Haven't had anything that I can do with the Eternity Plate yet. 
I will go ahead and take out some of these thermite flares just to get rid of the big lady in the hallway. And we'll go ahead and pull out one. Oh wait, that's a store one. We want to have one. Okay. 